There are now 20 states with Trump abortion bans, including bans that make no exception for rape or incest, which we just discussed, which means that you're telling a survivor of a crime of a violation to their body they don't have a right to make a decision about what happens to their body next, which is immoral. So this is the same guy that is now saying that? This is the same guy who said that women should be punished for having abortions? This is the same guy who uses the kind of language he does to describe women? So, yeah, there you go. And so, Chuck, as Katie was just saying, right now is about trying to find those people who you think would vote for you and motivating them to actually vote, as you were also saying, too. And so two things here. You see the vice president sitting down in kind of a non-traditional space years ago we probably wouldn't see a presidential candidate podcast didn't exist you know decades ago but but in this kind of more non-traditional space not a political show clearly trying to reach female voters that maybe haven't engaged here with an issue they think will work uh, in their favor you know i'm lucky enough where my firm is working on 26 house races and three senate races and i tell you that to say that across the country in all of these states when it comes down to the very end let me pull the curtain back and put y'all in the room of the strategist it comes down at the presidential level on who you like and who you trust everybody who cares vehemently about an issue or an issue one issue pick your issue is the thing they've made up their mind there may be one or two percent i think that's even a lot of folks that are undecided who really care about an issue 